Hello, 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 and welcome to Seek Truth, Speak Truth. Good day to you all. I hope you're enjoying your day on this lovely rotating oak blade spheroid. I have a very special guest with me sitting right here. Um, I just love to try and get the story across better to you guys, see the man behind the myth, shall we say. And this here is my ex-girlfriend. Will you believe? Um, we're still obviously great friends, great friends. But the reason we're here is just to show you, like I say, what is going on, what has been happening in my life, the impact belief within Flat Earth and all these other conspiracies has had. Uh, so I've written a couple of points down basically and we're going to get to know my ex. And like I say, we're still brilliant, brilliant friends. I'm not going to put her under too much pressure uh, to answer loads and loads. And please, you know, can I come out of this looking okay? Um, you know, I kind of I want some subscribers after this as well. <laughs> But yeah, um, I mean, basically, we, we were together for like six years. I was a flat earther for about two and a half years. So it must have been, say, within about three and a half years. It was then that she started to lose me to it, basically. It isn't the reason we split up, but it is a rather large part, I would say. Um, but yeah, I mean, what, what sort of negative impact? I'll, I'll start with work first off, because I think that it did affect my work, etc., what do you think? How did it impact my work? Uh, yeah, definitely impacted your work, um, your work ethic, really. <laughs> um, you would kind of make excuses not to work more because you felt like this was your work, your work was your, you know, getting the videos done and getting your voice and your point out. So, yeah, it definitely did affect your work ethic and your... Yeah, and um, which then has a knock-on effect, mm. really. So. Yeah, because, like, obviously my infamous shed from before, I'd be in there, um, not getting back to quotes, just losing jobs, basically, because I thought my my life was then about spreading the message of Flat Earth. And you can understand how it, it does impact you like that. It, it took my mind over to the point where it's all I could think about. And imagine yourselves, obviously, you know, a lot of you guys know what this is all about. I hope I have Flat Earthers watching this as well. And please just look at yourself and just think, am I losing people close to me? Am I pushing people away that I actually, you know, shouldn't be doing? You know, there is no reason for that to take over your life. It did me, but I think you can understand why it would, like I say. Um... Half the reason I'm doing this is because I've had so many comments still saying, oh, you're such a shill, you're such a CIA agent, it's so obvious you've been planted here by the governments. Really? Like, I'm a normal guy, you know, this is a, a normal girl. Um, how much didn't, how, how much are NASA paying you, by the way? Is that... <laughs> so much yeah, money. Like, this, is, this is plan B, because it's all going wrong. NASA have said, I now need... A backup story you know I need actors to come in Ugh, come on how stupid is that please look at yourself and think really like are people acting on YouTube to try and lie about the shape of the earth no it's just so stupid you would pretend to be your girlfriend anyway <laughs> you cheeky <laughs> oh my god right that's why we're exes <laughs> um, how did it affect our relationship um, like you say, it wasn't the reason we split up. We probably just other outside things, mm. you know. But um, I suppose in a relationship, you want to feel like you know you're the first person in that person's life. <laughs> it, really, you know, number one. <laughs> but um, it did take over your every single moment, you mm. know. Like so, we'd even go out for a walk um, to our local beach. And, you know, the first thing was, oh, look at the horizon, look at the ships going, oh. and I would kind of have a big kind of roll of the eyes, kind of like, here we go again, <laughs> moment. And yeah. I'm a very nature-loving person, so to me going outside and, 
you know, going into a forest or any, anywhere we did, you know, mm. it, it, it always had to come up again back to flat earth, which I'm quite a tolerant person and I even went along with you a lot of the you time, didn't I? You nearly became a flat earther, Very basically. Very close. Yeah. But um, I did, did escape. <laughs> <laughs> Escape the clutches of <laughs> Oh, it's so bad. But, I'm so yeah, sorry. No, I'm you, so sorry. You didn't do it deliberately. It just took over your life. And mm. uh, obviously, it took over my life because I lived with you. Yeah. So. And, mm. like, another funny thing actually is. is your son is like a commercial airline pilot, isn't he? Yeah. So I would literally be sitting there arguing with a commercial pilot that the earth is flat. Oh, not still. arguing. Not arguing. But yeah, sitting there, Sunday roast. And then, you know, I'm, I'm saying that Giving about everyone these... everyone a roast. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Roasted everyone about Flat Earth, yeah. And even your mum, actually, she was like, oh, I, I do like Craig, but I'm not I'm not sure about his Flat Earth stuff. <laughs> what do we mean the world is flat? <laughs> oh, my God. That's so crazy, isn't it? But, like I say, I would be talking to a pilot, saying, like, adamant that he was wrong. And, obviously, you know, he showed me flight paths and everything, and it was just... Straight over my head. Um, obviously, there's a debunker called Wolfie. He's a commercial pilot. And his videos are based around how it is impossible for the Earth to be flat. And he uses an aeroplane to show us. So, for, for the fact that I was arguing against him with that is unbelievable. And then, obviously, your son-in-law and daughter nearly had them as well, didn't I? I literally nearly... You might have seen... Um, a guy, Johnny Sticks, um, he's doing some vlogs and I'm sort of making an appearance, shall we say, and then, on. yeah, I'm going to have Johnny Sticks yeah. on soon because he was another one where I literally, he was saying to me the other day, like, you were so close to actually making me and my girlfriend believe the earth is flat and it just shows you how this thing can spread. I was very confident about what I was talking about and obviously, you know, really, you hadn't ever even considered it, have you? So when there's someone this you trust, start saying, oh yeah, the earth is flat. You just kind of trusted me so much that you believed it in a way, didn't you? Probably thought like, well, I don't know, like, I don't know, why, did I have you convinced or were you just go along with me? Uh, no, I don't go along with people just for the sake of it. I'm not mm. that kind of person, as you know, but it did, you know, if it's in your face constantly for 24 hours, Mm. you are going to suddenly question yourself, which mm. is, I think, where then you start going down the path. So I was questioning myself that when we, you know, ooh, maybe he's right, you know, maybe there is this thing that we've never been told about. In, and so, yeah, I, I started just tinging on the side of, like, <laughs> and I want to support, you want to support your partner. Mm. You, know, you don't want to say, well, you know, you, you support me, I support you, so... In a way, I wish I believed it so I could support you, but I couldn't. In mm. the end, mm. no. Yeah, yeah. It's just not. <laughs> it's just not flat. Stop. It's not flat. And I, I thought I was so intelligent, and it is done in Kruger. Everyone knows what that is. And like I say, I'm trying to tell a trained pilot that he's wrong, and that is the perfect example of someone that has such a low sort of understanding of something that they think they know so much more than they actually do. Um, that's why this whole channel is based about, and I do just want to show you guys, like, this is a normal guy. Um, you know, we're still bloody best of friends, aren't we? Do you know what I mean? And yeah. it wasn't Flat Earth that separated us. It had a massive part, though, to do with it. Even my family, um, like my sister, like I say, she nearly cried, when, especially now I know that we went to the moon. Um, at first she was just so happy that I went out of flat earth but then she was like yeah but what about the moon what about the moon and at first I still denied it but now I know we went to the moon even so it just shows you how these opinions can push people that are supposedly close to you away and I just think that's that's a bit silly um, yeah I think we're sort of coming towards the end of that now really um, have you got anything you'd like to add? I just hope this helps people know that you're a normal guy and just a joke, you know, yeah. Uh, yeah, and yeah, I'm proud of what you're doing now, so that's cool. Oh, thank, thank you. you. But yeah, that is like I say, the aim of the channel. Um, I'm not a bloody shill, I'm a normal guy. Look, I mean, look at these wrinkles, I'd have Botox and everything, wouldn't I? <laughs> no, really, I don't know, I don't know. I just want you guys to see who I am. 
like I say, my name's Craig and I'm very trackable down. I don't work for the CIA, just a normal bloke. I'd still be his boyfriend if you were. Uh, girl, <laughs> even girlfriend <laughs> if you work for the CIA. <laughs> I'd be there. See, this is this is really a man. No, no, <laughs> I'm only joking. Oh, I'm joking because I. Oh. It's all gone wrong. <laughs> it's all gone wrong now. But yeah, if you did watch that, it's just a, a an example of me. Stst. Thank you very much. Um, you probably do deserve better than me anyway, to be honest. So, <laughs> like I say, yeah, best pals now. But yeah, thank you very much. And thank you very much for coming along, being a little guest there. You're welcome. <laughs> keep safe. Keep it global. Do this. Let keep it global. And keep coming back.